Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about A Triple E 2025, and I'm going to talk about all the guidelines which are related with first round seat allotment, right? So this is the link where you have to do you know CSAP and registration and then get into different round of allotment. So the first round of allotment is also called the triad trial allotment. So what is the purpose of it is it will basically help candidates to understand the likelihood of which particular academic preference they can get in the round one. So it's basically helping the students and candidates for, for getting this uh, participating in the trial allotment candidate must log in into using their registered email id uh, or mobile number and then otp will be sent to the registered mobile to check the trial allotment so that is the process so very important note about the trial allotment is that trial allotment does not guarantee actual admission or allotment to the same academic preference in the final round it is just for the practice and in the later round it may change it is based on other students preferences they made during the trial allotment after trial allotment candidate can change their academic preference after viewing the trial allotment that is you can edit your pref academic preferences after the result of trial allotment but the time is aligned up to 3rd of june and the provision to change will be closed within one day of trial allotment because second is a trial allotment and third up to third you can do after this deadline no request to change preference will be accepted and so it is recommended to keep a printed copy of whatever academic preferences you have submitted in the form right so total 51 up to 51 academic preferences you can make and that i explained in the previous video so now let's understand the seat allotment how it will happen in the first round now academic preference submission right and you can choose up to 51 combinations right that, that is the maximum limit a student can put up to 50 combinations if seven campuses are there 18 branches are available within that you can put 51 combinations that is the maximum limit so there are two rounds basically round one round two and only if some seats are left out then they will have mop-up round so mop-up round schedule is given but it only depends if the seats are left after round two then only it will happen now talking about the round one a first allotment and then you will accept how it works so please listen it carefully I will first try with the first scenario. First scenario is candidates allotted their first academic preference in free slab 1. That means this student is the most happiest student because he got his first academic preference which he has given and that also in the first slab. That means he is very very happy and he does not need to further participate in any second round of counseling. So what this student who got first academic preference in first fee slab, he should pay, he should accept and pay 1 lakh as a partial advance fees that is he is accepting the college and then he should confirm the seat by paying the remaining fees after few days again the deadline will be given so that he will pay the complete fees and for him the counseling process is over if he does not pay the second installment also in time uh, then also the offer will be cancelled. You have to pay advance 1 lakh rupees plus remaining amount within the time which is given. Now this is the scenario 2. Second scenario. Candidate allotted any academic preference in slab 1. That means he has not got the first academic preference. But he, he got the first fee slab. For example, a candidate has got the preference number fifth right you got the preference number fifth from the top and fee slab is one so you are happy with the fee slab but preference number is fifth but you wanted the first preference number or any other higher preference number then you have many options this student who got fifth preference in fee slab one his option number one is that 
if he is satisfied accept and pay 1 lakh rupees and confirm to pay the remaining fees that means you are joining this same fifth preference in fee slab 1 but he has another option which is option 2 that he accepts he pays 1 lakh rupees but now he chooses upgrade that means he will wait for better option in the next round he will wait for the better option in the next round but he has paid the fees of 1 lakh rupees now he is the third type of student third student third type of students who got allotted any preference in any fee slab that means he got the fifth preference that is okay but he got that also in the fee slab which is very high fees but he wanted in the lower fees and better preference then also he can accept by paying 1 lakh rupees fees and then choose upgrade before the deadline so you want to understand what is the meaning of upgrade upgrade can be to a higher academic preference or upgrade can be to a lower fee slab within the same branch so these are the two type of upgrades and if payment is not made in any situation your offer will be cancelled automatically and you will be out of csep and i have explained this upgrade more detail later in this video so be connected now what are the different type of upgrade options so there are three type of upgrades a move to a higher academic preference no fee restriction that means you want to say that i want to move from the fifth preference to the first preference i am not bothered about the fee slab even if i get from firstly fee slab number 1 to fee slab number 2 it is okay to me if i get from slab number 2 to slab number 3 that is okay to me because i want higher academic preference okay now there is second type of upgrade now this is the b move to the higher academic preference with max slab fee so student is saying that move me to higher i am ready to pay the higher slab fee which is i am ready to pay fee slab 3 and that is fine with me this type of uh, students are basically saying that they are open to paying the highest fee to get a better branch now there is a third type of student c move to or third type of upgrade basically so c type of upgrade is move to higher academic preference within the currently allotted fee slab so student will say no i want to pay only slab 1 fees if we possible move me to the higher academic preference in the next round so they don't want to change the fees they are fixed with the fee so these are students who want to move to only academic preference but the fee slab remains fixed so these students will be moved only if newer higher preference is available in same or the lower fees but they cannot be charged higher fee slab for example you are in fee slab 2 so you can only move to another preference if you get slip slab 2 or slab 1 but you will not be forced to pay for slab 3 or you will not be changed your branch will not be changed so if if no higher preference is available in the same or lower fee slab then you will retain same branch whatever you get but lower fee slab now then is the next type of upgrade which is move to lower fee slab without changing academic preference that means student is happy to stay in the same branch that means fifth preference what you got that is what you wanted fifth preference right but move to a lower fees you want to move to lower fees from slab number 3 to slab number 2 and what you need upgrade is from slab number 2 to slab number 1 that is your goal but you don't want to change the branch so those are the all different type of upgrades which is possible in amrita university candidates not allotted in round 1 can change academic preference 
before round two, right? And uh, only those students can change preference because they have not allotted any seat in round one. And CSEP registration reopens after round one and closes two be two days before the round two allotment. So this type of uh, not allotted students should notice this timelines also. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates on.